everybody, Josh the RV Nerd here with Bish's RV with a very exciting announcement. We are launching our own exclusive series of trailers right here, introducing in a sense the, the, the uh, origin of a new RV company, Wayfinder RV, and we are kicking it off with our very first Go Play travel trailer series here. And uh, we will have full length, in-depth video tours following these. But to, to kind of kick you off, I wanted to start a little different by sort of introducing this to really understand why we would go about effectively making our own RV in a sense. So, uh, li like anybody else, we like getting away with our families. We like making memories. And like anybody else, we want to do it in a way that doesn't just burn more money than we have to. And let's face it, let's be real about this. RVs are not necessarily inexpensive. Um, they're, they're very fun, they come with a lot of benefits, but they come with a hefty price tag and some long-term upkeep and a lot of things like that to consider. And with things like rising costs the last couple of years, let's, let's just be real about this. The cost of RVs has jumped a lot the last couple of years. We wanted uh, to, to be able to bring an offering to the table that still uh, felt like the juice was worth the squeeze for a family where, you know, whether you're Larry Lunchbucket and Jane Sixpack or whether, you know, you're a company executive or something like that, you wanted to be able to get out there and, and uh, not overspend just to have a little bit of family fun and memories. That's why we went about this. And I want to be totally clear and candid about what this is and what this is not. Um, this very first series that you're looking at here, the Go Play series, what we did is we wanted to find a manufacturer that we had uh, a lot of history with, uh, a lot of you know good communication, a lot of strong pull with, and we wanted to work with them to kind of help us start with a very well-proven, established base. And that's what we've done here. We went to uh, our good partners at Jayco RV and said, is there something within your family companies we could do that we could partner up with um, that would give us a launch pad? And then from there, we could start tweaking it. And they said, yes, absolutely. Absolutely. So what these truly are sitting here right now, it is right now a literal clone of a uh, uh, like a, a Highland Ridge conventional series camper, a stick and tin Highland Ridge camper. That's what it is right now. But over time, as our videos come out and as we launch floor plans on these things, your input will directly shape what we do with these. So while it might be a clone of something else out there right now, that's not what it will be in the future. One of the very interesting things though, is remember we're doing this to try to make a more affordable option. Even though it's a clone of something else right now, it doesn't have the clone price tag. And that concept of getting a more fair value to, to take your family out and build some memories is literally the origin of Bish's RV. That's why this hits so near and dear to us. Uh, 34 years ago, Bish's RV was not an RV company. Bish's was a Western wear company selling, you know, cowboy hats, boots, Western apparel, things like that. And what is the Bish's RV founder? Wanted to get an RV for his family, but he thought the price sucked on everything that he uh, found. So he went straight to a manufacturer and tried to see if he could get a better deal direct by cutting out the middleman. And they said, no, we can't do that. But I tell you what, if you buy six of these, uh, we can give you, you know, dealer invoicing to get you a better deal. And he said, okay, we'll do that. And he thought, I'll sell five of them and I'll keep one and ended up selling all six. And as a result, Bish's RV was born off of this very principle. But now it's 34 years later and we've grown from one store to over 20 stores nationwide. We continue to expand slow but sure. And as a result, you know, it's like farmers. We know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. Please don't sue me if you're one of the farmers people. That's, I'm sure that's trademarked. Regardless, uh, my point here is that we uh, realize there's like we know our way around this thing now. And by kind of managing our own company, we are able to cut out a lot of the middleman just like our founder did years ago. And as a result, we can save you thousands and thousands of dollars on an equivalent product that will become more tuned to exactly what you want and need over time as your feedback helps drive this brand. And that sort of cutting out the middleman thing to save you a lot of money comes in a couple different forms. Uh, one of those is the fact that we don't need uh, to have a product marketed to customers, to dealerships, because you don't realize how much money manufacturers spent to market a product to an actual dealership to try to get them to sell it, uh, to educate them on it, all that kind of thing. Um, we can cut that out. You know, that's kind of what I do. We're doing that in-house here and we're, we're drastically slashing the cost. And all of that extra cost gets baked into the final price of an RV at, at the end of the day as a result. Um, one of the other things is we don't really need manufacturers reps for this, which saves a huge amount of money. And I'm not trying to downplay the, the, 
the really true good importance of manufacturers' representatives. They, uh, you know, they, they bring a lot of information, a lot of education, both to customers, uh, to dealerships, all kinds of things. But you think some of these companies, they, they have over 300 dealerships nationwide that they're partnered with, and they could have anywhere from five to 15 factory representatives that they pay to transport, to, to, to feed, to, to you know, go to hotels and stuff, to fly all around the nation. And that can literally add up to over a million dollars a year that we don't have to find a way to bake into the price tag of this RV. So as a result, we can get you, like I said, an equivalent product, potentially a whole lot cheaper. And you might be wondering, how can you get your hands on one of these? Well, uh, we will have several of our stores almost acting like distribution points for these RVs, where we'll have a nice number of them in stock, and uh, we, we can send them out anywhere from there. You're obviously welcome to come to the store and purchase it just like any other RV. But more than that, what if you don't have a Bish's RV in your neck of the woods? Because we don't have stores everywhere. We have 20 plus stores nationwide right now, but we don't have a store in every single state of the union right around uh, the corner from you. We are launching uh, a, a new website specifically focused on our own si brand and series of trailers. And one of the things here is you can literally order one of these online. And uh, what, what would happen in that case is uh, the RV would be uh, first delivered from the manufacturer to your nearest Bish's RV location where we'd send it through a, a pre-screener to, to, to kind of smoke out and correct any issues that we can find up front. And we can literally ship it and deliver it right to your front door or to your campsite or to your mother-in-law's house or wherever you need to put this thing. We can send it straight to you. You don't have to necessarily be somebody that lives within our local zip code. We can get these to you anywhere, anytime and all of the pricing for every individual model will be listed right on that website. And speaking of that, there's a massive world of floor plans out there. There's no way we can possibly make one RV to rule them all like the one ring from Lord of the Rings. But what we can do is statistically we found where about 70 uh, to 80% of people, the floor plans that they're looking for, and that's what we're nailing here at our initial launch. Um, and actually we did kind of a sneak preview at one of our RV shows earlier this year, and we've already begun to update and evolve the product since then. So technically our first major launch here is already a tweaked and tuned version of a very popular proven product out there and with uh you know if you subscribe to these videos if you haven't already uh leave your feedback on the models uh as we have more of them come out your feedback again will continue to shape this product and this can be a brand where instead of somebody who sits in an office who maybe doesn't even camp designing and developing the product you folks at home you can really be the product managers of this brand. And I think that's very cool. I don't know that that's ever really been done in the industry before. And with that in mind, we're obviously launching here uh, at, at kind of ground level with a very traditional stick and tin series of camper. But over time, we will uh, open up new members of the Wayfinder RV family. Today's the go play. We'll see what comes out after this. Uh, you know, it's it's not off the table that we, we may end up into laminated trailers or fifth wheels or toy haulers or anything else. But for now, what we want to do is we want to get these out there. We want to get our feet under us. Uh, we want to get that input from you. We want to really get this thing fine-tuned. And then we can start working on the next one and then the next one from there. But we're going to try to do them one layer at a time. And we're going to try to do our best to do them right as we go. So hop over to the Wayfinder RV website where you can learn a lot more uh, than what I've given you here today. And again, stay tuned. I have full walkthrough video tours. And I, I am excited. I really can't wait uh, to see what you think about these. So leave us some notes. Let us know what you think. And again, stay tuned. Full videos coming soon. Take care. Stay safe. Have fun and happy camping, everyone. Go play.